JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for May the 13th. I am Haralambos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded mixed against the other major currencies on Thursday during the Asian session Friday. It gained versus the Euro, the Swiss franc and slightly against the Aussie while it underperformed against the Yen and the Luni and fractionally versus the Pound and the Kiwi. Now in our view this paints, and, this paints a blurry picture with regards to the broader market sentiment as a strong Yen points to risk of trading activity while a sliding franc points otherwise. Thus, in order to clear things up, we prefer to turn our gaze to the equity world. Here we see that major European indices traded in the red, averaging an around 1% slide each, and although sentiment continued deteriorating during the early US session, as we were approaching the closing bell, things improved with Dow and S&P uh, finishing uh, sli uh, the session slightly, slightly lower and Nasdaq entering the positive territory. Asian indices saw decent gains today, so uh, sentiment started to improve uh, late in the US and continued improving during the Asian session today. Investors may have continued selling equities due to the US CPI data revealing on Wednesday that inflation slowed less by, by, than, uh, by less than anticipated in April. This confirmed the case that the Fed uh, may need to continue with its plans of tightening fast and although the probability for a 75 basis points hike has not risen much, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said yesterday that they, they are prepared to do more than 50 basis points hikes if indeed needed. In our view, most participants may have remained reluctant to place uh, back bets over triple hike due to the core PPI slowing by more than expected. Now with PPI prices feeding into consumer prices, in our view, this means uh, that the CPIs may slow more in the months to come, or at least this is what some market uh, participants may have interpreted. Now, another reason why equities kept falling yesterday may be geopolitics. Tensions dialed up after Finland announced that it would apply for NATO membership with Russia warning that this could result in consequences. But why did Asian markets rebounded and even gained? Perhaps due to short covering before the end of the week. In our view, it was not a buying rally as the fundamentals still point to further declines in equities in our view. We believe that market participants are in a rebalancing uh, process on the last trading day of the week, especially following uh, steep declines the previous uh, days. Now, uh, a, reba a portfolio rebalancing uh, seems logical. With that in mind, we see decent chances for European and US indices uh, to rebound uh, somewhat as well uh, today. So we expect European and US indices to rebound today, but overall we still see uh, near term downtrends. Now, another development worth mentioning was the extension in the tumble of uh, in cryptocurrencies with Bitcoin falling below uh, 30,000 and Ethereum de depreciating around 15%, 15 as uh, Tether the largest uh, stable coin by market cap broke below its USD peg. All this was the result of the meltdown in Terra USD, another stable coin which is now trading at 
0 0.15 US dollars instead of being pegged to uh, one dollar so that's it uh, from me thank you very much for watching and listening for those who are interested in uh, learning about uh, about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, a greater weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. JFT just fair and direct.